Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So today I'm unboxing this Lenovo Legion Pro 7 gaming laptop. So this one comes with AMD 9955HX 3D processor with RTX 5080. And it just arrived an hour ago, so I decided to give it an unbox and uh, record the process. Uh, if you guys are interested in this laptop's benchmarks, Please subscribe to this channel and I'll be uploading it in the near future. So let's get started. Uh, so first of all, the box contains this laptop. And starting this year, seems like lots of uh, laptop brands, they stopped like uh, putting uh, the packaging inside another box. As well as there is a safety and warranty type of documents. And other than that, because I pre-ordered this laptop, so it comes with this Lenovo mouse pad. So this is the Lenovo Legion mouse pad. And other than that, you get this very heavy uh, charging brake so I have no idea though what this is but so you get this cable that plugs into the wall and you get this, this massive charging brake this is by far the largest charging brake I've ever seen so uh, let's take a look at how powerful it is so this is a 400 watts charging brake. This is the by far the largest charging brake I've ever seen that comes with a laptop. So inside this wide little box you get, oh, this is the extra keycaps that I ordered. Um, I almost forgot about this. So you get these extra, you can order extra keycaps. So I just ordered these for uh, WSD and some arrow keys. I have no idea if I ever like use these but I just ordered them anyway so this one comes with an extra 25 bucks so oh these are you know what I, I actually think these are like ceramic keycaps are they so anyways this is what you get and I think this is the keycaps puller or keycaps remover and um, so yeah this is it so I just plug it in the cable and turn on the device and went through the window setup process install a couple of monitoring softwares like hardware info CPU GPU Z um, upon turning it on I immediately noticed a problem with this device and that is the uh, fan noise the rattling fan noise coming out of the third fan so if you don't know the this laptop has three fans. There are two fans on the top portion, a cooling CPU and GPU. And there is a third fan around this area that's uh, supposed to cool the internal peripherals, so like memory and SSD. So I noticed there is a slight rattling noise coming out of that fan. I've already contacted support and they created a ticket for me. So I'm probably not going to risk disassembling this device myself because it's still under warranty. So I'll just let them deal with it. I'll probably like ship it in. But anyways, um, these are the procedures that I recommend you to do whenever you receive a laptop just to make sure it's in a good condition. So the first thing I want you to perform is this keyboardchecker.com thing. So this is a keyboard checker just to check if all the keys on the keyboard is indeed working. So once you check this, the second is the GPU and CPU Z, these two softwares, and I'll be leaving their links in the comment section. So these are just for checking, um, you know, the model numbers uh, for your CPU and GPU and making sure you're indeed getting what you paid for. And the third thing is the hardware info. So this one is the sensor panel. And um, I believe you can find better tutorials than this uh, for these softwares, but 
um, you know just take a look at sensors if you notice anything wrong with its internal parts so once you checked all the numbers and things just download this uh, Cinebench R23 from you know Microsoft Store um, just type Cinebench here and you can find the result and download it very easily and then what, what you can do is you go to this file and advanced benchmark and minimum test duration turn it into 10 minutes or 30 minutes I, I suggest you run it for 30 minutes and test the processor stability so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to run Cinebench R23 for 10 minutes uh, if you run this benchmark the fan and everything will start like spinning so that will also help you you know uh, detect if there is anything wrong with like internal components so I just finished running Cinebench R23 benchmark for both balanced and performance mode on this laptop you can use this Legion space to turn on performance or balanced mode and there is quiet mode um, I'm not interested in quiet mode so I just tested it under balance and performance so here are some numbers that I got from this process so number one under balanced mode the afterburner showed no overclocking against GPU of course this is Cinebench it's not GPU related but I ran the test for 10 minutes and um, I got 33,307 that's the score multi-core score and uh, CPU maximum wattage um, I observed it was 100 watts so uh, pretty conservative and the temperature was somewhere between 60 to 70 degrees and again in I'll be showing you more detailed charts and graphs in my next video and under performance mode what I notice is so by toggling on the performance mode on the Legion space software it automatically updates Windows power in the Windows settings to performance as well the performance benchmark that means Windows power set to best performance and Legion space set to performance as well and under that circumstance the afterburner showed 150 megahertz over a clock against the core clock and 300 megahertz against the memory clock and obviously that is not related to Cinebench but, but I'm just telling you uh, it's what it does by you know toggling it to performance mode the performance benchmark as you're able, able to get the score is 30 38,582 and CPU was capped at around 150 watts and the maximum temperature uh, maximum core temperature I was able to get was 99.6 so basically that is the sailing of you know the design temperature and I don't think it can get any you know higher score than this or higher performance than this because it's already hitting the ceiling in the next video I'll be showing you guys more detailed comparison between the score and 275HX benchmark and I'll also be testing a couple games in my next video so be sure to subscribe and see you guys next time